Hey guys, and welcome to Modern Ukrainian Homestead. As you may see, I have taken off my self-made wind turbine and replaced it with the M3, just to check how it how it behaves, because that one, the self-made one, is already rebuilt a bit. I actually found the issue, it's in the bearing. Um, now, currently, because like this kind of plates were not pressed hard enough, so it was wobbling. So the plate over here and the plate over here. Now I have to apply a lot of, like it has a plate to apply uh, a grease, so I'll have to apply it a lot to make it rotate really nice and smooth because currently it's kind of stuck because like, well, right now it touches the ball, the bearing ball. So it's not really good. Well, I know how to fix it and I will do. Also, I have redone the tail. Sorry for for the mess here in the garage. I have no time to like clean it up, but the tail is rebuilt. I will explain it later once, once I will be mounting it. But today's topic is a little bit different. So we have... We have this kind of wind turbine set. This one, the FT-1000L, is currently on the brakes because, uh, well, I have to put it on the brakes at this moment. Um, this is the S3 default factory made, and this is the M3 default factory made. Uh, no changes, no, no, no adjustments, no modifications. The short tail from the factory, as I told you already many, many times, it has to be lengthened by my calculation plus 40% if you're leaving this kind of tailplate. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you're using the tailplate like I did for, like, basically the same generator like here, it has to be 45 centimeters longer. But here is the thing. Uh, these guys mostly have the clean wind now. Um, and let's go and check what do they produce you see how m3 behaves not really good it it wobbles it wobbles it 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 it, it rotates a lot uh, around uh, its vert around its vertical axis um, seeking for the wind and i mean that's that's the problem that's the problem of a tail i've been telling you a lot about so s3 default that one small one let's go and check what does, how does it go 6 watts no not really 6 7 but the wind died. The wind is 5, 6. Uh, apparently, it was very recently blowing uh, 7, 8. I mean, we are looking at this average value. Yeah, and the gusts uh, are slightly higher, plus 1 or 1 1.5 meters per second. That's what generally it is. But uh, eventually, I've been able to locate here the power source of maximum 60 watts out of the S3. And here, currently, it stopped. You see, you see that's the voltage output and that's the and that's the the, the the wattage oh there you go it picks up a little bit oh, it, it went just a little bit over 30. or oh, maybe i can show you both of them so you're so you're a bit able to locate but this one was able to actually hit uh, almost 300 uh at, at the winds of uh, eight nine meters per second so i mean it's it's quite good but Let's just wait and see. I need to. Ha I, ne I need you to have a real proof. So I'll pause this video right now, and we'll get back once we have some real action. Because the wind is different. Uh, currently, this one has a lot of clean wind, so it's, it behaves a lot, a lot better. But I mean, you, you know, the capabilities are not good because it has a very thin, a small generator. So that's. I mean, it, it cannot produce a lot. That that's, that's definitely this one can do better. Uh, but I just want to see how it goes in the default mode. Oh, you see, there it picks up. Not 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 that much. What the wind is? Six point two, six point seven nine. So right, you see both of them. Uh, Fifty one ten. One hundred. I mean, yeah, it can go. It can go. Let's just wait and see. You see this this fluctuation of the of the wattage. The wattage fluctuates a lot because uh, I mean it, it, it rotates around its ver its uh, vertical axis. That's the tail issue. Look how the F three goes. I mean it, it's not peaking sixty right now, but that's 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 pretty awesome. What I what, what we were were able to see for for that kind of shit <laughs> wind turbine. That is pretty awesome. You know, <laughs> I mean you. You don't have to expect much from it, but I mean, it can, it can. You, look, 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 50, 50, 58. With that kind of tiny generator inside, eight millimeters thick only, I mean, that's something. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been able to, out, to put out on the drill uh, maybe um, 45, 46, but here you see on the vent 60, 60, yeah, 60, 66, 60, okay, 70. I mean, that's a record for today. What was the vent? 8.7 average well that's that's good that's not that's not crazy yet 
I mean, obviously it's the gust, but I mean, we need to see what, what can actually it output. Uh, this one does not have, this is the M3, this one does not have the clean wind yet, so um, the wattage it's not is not that perfect, of course, I mean, because it turns around a lot. Oh, oh it, it's, it's getting its pace. Yeah, let's get back. No, nah, turned around. And that's the trouble. That's the main problem. So you see, not stable behavior. Really not a stable behavior. I've been telling you a lot. So you have to think what is the cleanest wind area for your wind turbine and make it have a clean wind. Give it a decent height and it will work so much better. And in this case, uh, like again, I've been telling you a lot that the tail issue is probably the main one. Um, and the problem is that, uh, well, you have to stick with the rolls. I fully understand Chinese guys, why do they make these tails that short? Uh, that reason is fully, fully like clear to me because you have to reduce the packaging during transportation, etc., etc. But the trouble is that, um, I mean, people don't know how to fix it. And in short, um, you have to put some effort into it to make it work better. Eventually, yeah. So let me get back in a while once I see something good here, because you want proofs, right? You want to see how much can this produce. Okay, I will get it to you. Uh, let it, let's just wait a little bit until it gets a clean wind. And uh, once we see nice and clear gusts uh, ha happening, so we, can, we, we, we are able to locate what is the possibilities of this. Okay, hold on a sec. So, this is how we go, guys. Look, this is S3. Going good, going strong as per its capabilities. It cannot go more. And this is the M3 default. It actually finally cat, caught some like clean wind and actually did a nice uh, power throw. But uh, let's see what the wind is. It's eight, eight meters per second on average. That's that's the realistic thing, but yeah, I mean, told you, tail, tail has to be rebuilt. It already turned over. Yeah, you may see. Right. This is what this is what's happening with the M3. You see, you see how it rotates around its clock. Not good, absolutely. So this has to be changed and adjusted. I already explained you how. But I'm surprised. I'm surprised to see how strong S3 goes. I was not expecting it to be showing any more than 40 watts. Because the drill tests I did um, sometime in the winter showed me only 46 with the, with, the, with the hand drill. I mean, that's something that is really awful. But the wind actually managed to rotate it up to 70, and we have seen this today. And yeah, well, I'm surprised, <laughs> to say the least. Given the prices, I've already been telling you, this is three. Oh, that was a nice cost. Maybe we missed it. I don't know. Yeah, missed it. Uh, so S3, given the prices, that was a strong gust that even rotated the S3, the, the, the greater dynamics one. Uh, the S3 cost me 28.9 bucks. That's really, really low. And the M3 price for me was 184, $184. So that's, that's the toy, you know, and, uh, and for, the, for the toy's price, I mean, what they can do, it's really great. However, I'm not happy with this still. I will actually, it, 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 it gets the new generator um, maybe in a couple of weeks. Uh, the slightly bigger one, I hope. Um, and then the M3 will be mounted so much higher and will show so much better because we have seen today only a couple of times already it was shooting over 200 watts, uh, over, way over. Um, I mean, decent height, nice tail, and it'll be much more stable. I mean, I'm going to get for them uh, monthly average production. Uh, in, the, in, it, in the tempo, it goes like this. It'll be shooting uh, somewhere around 2-3 kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours per month, not much. Uh, I bet even this one will get one kilowatt hour per month. Not sure yet, but let's let's just see. 
So yeah, this is it. This is it for today. If there will be something more interesting for you, I will, of course, uh, will add the silent uh, updates for the for the production schedule, so you will see what what it is. And uh, I've been already telling you that the FT two thousand L two already arrived to me. What's that wind turbine? Uh, that one looks exactly like this one, but it's bigger. It's three point two meters in diameter. And I will be unpacking it and showing it to you fully uh, this nearest Sunday. This is planned, so that's the, the plan that we have and that's what we will see. Okay, F3 actually went crazy. No, not really crazy. Um, but yeah, that was the update for, for you today. Thanks for watching and see you later. And this piece is worth additional explaining. So I turned on my FT1000L, as you may see, and this is the output it shows. It goes, well, you know, the end is not stable. Uh, so it goes from 100 up to 280 watts, but let's see how it compares to the other wind turbine. Currently, specifically, we will be checking how, right now how it works in comparison with the M3. You may see it is going live, and you see the words, right? I mean, not that crazy difference. I mean, S3 definitely is really so much less, right? But the M3, it surprises me a lot. Of course, it doesn't have as clean wind as the bigger one, and they are five meter different uh, in height. But eventually, the wattage you are able to see from it, 170 and even more, it is very, very, very decent and very good. The wind is not that crazy. Let's get back and check what will be again for the bigger one, for the FT-1000. Hmm, interesting. I'm surprised. It's not a huge difference. Probably the reason here is that um, the cable is not that good for the bigger wind turbine and it would have been so much better if it would have been on the thicker cable but currently they are on the same one that's how it works
and few more words to add. So you may see that it already produces somewhat normally, I mean the M3 and the S3. However, you have to understand that S3 is in the full factory mode, it has to be rebuilt again, it has to get a new generator which is thicker and bigger than the originally installed one. About the M3, also, it has to have a tail length, and this is number one, it has to be put on twice as much height, um, and, well, it has to have a thicker cable, because currently it's only 2.5 square millimeters thick copper, and it has to have at least four. Then it will produce more. I know this all, I will do this all. This is the kind of pre-production test to see if my assumptions were right, and so far I see that, yes, they were right, and this turbine can be put in production, uh, of course, with a little bit of modification with the tail, as I've been telling you many, many times through this video. So, thanks for watching, and, well, like and subscribe. If you have watched until this moment, you are a hero, of course. This has been a long, long video today. So, thank you so much so far, and we'll see you later. Thanks, bye.